I mean, pulling a second on Yano is probably more difficult than, uh, and, you know, sorry, closing a second to Yano on me is probably more difficult than doing a Deathless Dark Souls run. I just don't think it's possible at this point. Here comes Nicholas Longe then in towards turn of one. Lucas Blakely is going to let him on by. I don't think... I don't think there's really any defense there from him. He had no ERS. He's got no DRS either. And Nicholas Longe is going to get himself up into P2. However, something tells me Nicholas Longe isn't going to... Uh, sorry, Lucas Blakely isn't going to take that one lying down. He's on the battery in through the first part of this lap. However, there's no more DRS zones. There's no real place to overtake here. So Lucas Blakely, I'm not too sure why he didn't defend that one harder. Normie as we come down towards turn six now, that's a little bit of battle between Jed and Ruben. They've been going side by side since turn one. Made a bit of contact into turn three, but they still got through and a bit of contact again between these two as we head down to turn seven now. Ruben's got a chance to get himself ahead. Can he get himself ahead of Jed because Jed's got the inside line at turn eight. They push each other nearly off track. And now Jed, um, well, says no, I won't, I won't battle anymore. He gives that position to Ruben Progenio as they also Simon Vigang sitting a little bit behind on these two as they come through. Out of turns 10 and 11 as we come through and aim towards his final triple hat triple right hander and still nothing Nico can do is that to get ahead of uh, to get ahead of Yano I think I, I, I'm getting a sneaky suspicion that Lucas Blakely might try and pull what he did on Brazil in Brazil on Fabrizio Donoso because now through the final corner no one is going to be able to catch Yano Otmir at the front of the order he is going to take victory here in Qatar in what has been a very hellacious and controversial Grand Prix he will be able to take victory Nicholas Longe is going to remain in P2 uh, Lucas Blakely in P3 and I actually think Thomas Ronhal might have nipped him on the line I think he was just able to get ahead of uh, yeah no 2.998 that was a 2,000 two thousandths of a second gap that Thomas Ronhal I didn't even see it because the camera angle was so atrocious but without that penalty Thomas Ronhal is on the podium here I 